we are mistaken. You might not be aware of this, but there are a lot of facts concerning the Big Bang hypotheses that its proponents don't want you to know. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has given rise to such a possibility. The discovery surprised scientists because it went against what was predicted by our accepted theory of the universe's evolution. Big Bang Theory supporters want you to think that their idea is factual and unchangeable. Yet this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, there are so many flaws in the Big Bang Theory that there isn't even enough proof to claim with certainty that it might be true. So, what have the James Webb Space Telescope's most recent extragalactic observations revealed? How do these findings refute the Big Bang Theory? Let's find out. Many of us as children wonder how everything around us came to be when we glance around at our surroundings. This persists through maturity and is the basis for several scientific disciplines. Rarely is simply knowing that anything exists enough to satisfy us. Instead, we are curious as to how and why everything came into being. We might never have complete assurance regarding the solutions to these difficult concerns. However, in our search for the information, we have discovered a great deal about the rules of nature. Everything in the cosmos is subject to the rules of nature, from the direction and speed of a ball's bounce to how the planets travel in their orbits. The Big Bang, which is the theory that the universe was created at a single instant in time with an explosive burst of energy, is an event that has been described as a result of our growing comprehension of these rules over time. The new James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST's, photographs of the cosmos are stunningly breathtaking to everyone who views them. But they also come as a huge surprise to the majority of cosmologists and professional astronomers because they defy theory in every way. Since July 12th of last year, a deluge of technical astronomical publications has been released online. In these studies, the authors repeatedly note that the photos reveal an unexpectedly large number of galaxies, as well as galaxies that are unusually smooth, small and old. There are many surprises, not all of them good. One paper's title starts off with the direct cry of panic. Why do cosmologists become alarmed by the JWST images and which theories do they conflict with? The Big Bang Hypothesis, which states that the universe started 14 billion years ago in an enormously hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since, is the idea that the JWST photos are obviously and constantly refuting, according to the truth that these articles fail to mention. The vast majority of cosmological theorists have supported that concept for decades as undeniable truth. Therefore, the new data has them in a panic. Not all of the discrepancies between Big Bang Theory predictions and observations have been referred to as a crisis in cosmology. Despite the theory's continued popularity, numerous research teams have demonstrated how virtually every prediction of the Big Bang hypotheses has been disproved by better data. On the other hand, the observations are in line with a non-expanding cosmos without a Big Bang. The Big Bang's non-existence is the actual cosmological problem. What about the most recent James Webb Telescope data suggests that the Big Bang Theory is incorrect? The two facts that more distant galaxies have a higher redshift than closer ones and that the cosmos is surrounded by a cosmic background of microwave radiation are usually considered to be the main pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang. While the second argues that the cosmos was originally extremely hot and dense, the first suggests that the universe is expanding in all directions. The relative quantity of elements in the early universe makes up a third of the three pillars of evidence supporting the Big Bang. On them, we have long since built the standard model of cosmology, also called the LCDM model. That is a cosmos made of matter, dark matter and dark energy that was created with the Big Bang. This widely accepted theory is confirmed by all evidence including the acceleration of cosmic expansion and galaxy clustering. Additionally, we can demonstrate the validity of the standard model by looking at its predictions for various observational tests. The most recent allegations of the Big Bust relate to this. The Tolman Surface Brightness Test is one of these auxiliary examinations. 
A galaxy's apparent brightness and apparent size are compared under this theory, which Richard C. Tolman first put forth in the 1930s. The surface brightness of every galaxy should be nearly the same because, in general, a larger galaxy should be brighter. Galaxies farther away would appear fainter, but they would also appear smaller. Thus, the surface brightness would remain constant. According to the Tolman test, all galaxies should have roughly the same surface brightness, regardless of distance, in a static, non-expanding universe. Although that's not what we see. What we see is that galaxies farther away have a lower surface brightness than galaxies closer to us. The galaxy's redshift and quantity of dimming are inversely related. You would believe that this demonstrates that all of those far-off galaxies are accelerating their distance from us, but it doesn't. There would be two dimming effects if those far-off galaxies were rushing away, the redshift and the growing separation. According to the Tolman test, the surface brightness of galaxies should decrease proportionally to both redshift and distance in a straightforward expanding universe. Only the redshift's effects are visible. Some have suggested a static universe where light spontaneously loses energy over time as a result of this phenomenon. It's known as the tired light hypothesis and is a favorite among those who reject the theory of the Big Bang. The Tolman test accurately predicts what we observe if the cosmos is stagnant and light is exhausted. Consequently, there was no Big Bang. As the only remaining theory explaining the origin of the universe, the Big Bang theory is unrivaled. The universe's expansion, the emergence of light elements, the existence of the cosmic microwave background, the development of the cosmic web, and other evidence are all consistent with it. The Big Bang theory, in a word, is that the cosmos started out as a very hot and dense point that grew larger and cooler over the course of about 13.8 billion years. However, you need to crack a few eggs in order to make a cosmic omelette. The Big Bang idea has faced some pretty significant opposition throughout the years. Before the Big Bang idea was proposed, most scientists, and virtually anyone who gave it serious consideration, agreed that the universe was just the way it was and had been ever since and would always be. If you were of the religious inclination, there may have been a creation event at some point in the distant past, but if so, the world would have looked and behaved quite similarly to how it does today. Though occasionally stars would explode and a chance comet may arise, overall the universe was just what it was. At least in enormous sizes, it was one continuous piece of the universe's cosmic tapestry. All of that came crashing down when astronomer Edwin Hubble realized the universe was expanding. In an expanding cosmos, the universe is manifestly different in the past than it is in the present, and the future will be even more different. So, that discovery immediately threw a wrench in the idea of an everlasting universe. The evidence suggested that our cosmos is dynamic and constantly changing. Many astronomers were skeptical of the Big Bang theory even after realizing that the universe is expanding. The steady state model, which was first put forth by astronomer Fred Hoyle, was the leading candidate in the early 20th century. The universe is always expanding in the steady state model, but new matter is constantly forming in the empty space to replace it. In that case, the general themes of the everlasting universe hypotheses are saved since the cosmos expands but the density remains constant. In other words, the steady state model assumes that the world is dynamic but remains constant over very long durations. Two significant observations, quasars and the cosmic microwave background CMB, put an abrupt end to the steady state. The CMB is a source of radiation that is all around us, but quasars are extremely bright radio emission sources that are only found in the furthest reaches of the cosmos. These make sense when viewed in the context of the Big Bang. The light is a remnant of a different time in the history of the cosmos. However, the early cosmos should appear similar to the present-day universe in the steady-state model. In order to account for fresh contradictory data, proponents of the Big Bang theory have responded by constantly adding new parameters to the theory. 
Contrarily, theories that are consistent with the universe without a Big Bang and without the data challenging the Big Bang hypotheses can be used to explain the data much more easily. This point was made in a publication released in 2014 by Eric Lerner and all. There were a ton of Big Bang Dead articles published as a result. The most recent allegations that Webb contradicted the Big Bang started with a well-read piece by the same Eric Lerner. To be honest, the most recent Webb observations and the Hubble observations from 2014 both corroborated Lerner's assertion. But Lerner carefully left out of his work the fact that the LCDM model is likewise supported by the Hubble and Webb findings. Redshift is frequently misunderstood as evidence that galaxies are accelerating away from us. They're not. Far-off galaxies aren't travelling at breakneck speed. As space itself expands, the gap between us widens. It's a small distinction, but it indicates that cosmic expansion, not relative motion, is what causes galaxy redshift. Additionally, it implies that far-off galaxies appear to be a little larger than they would in a static universe. Although they are far away and small, the expansion of space provides the impression that they are larger. Because of this, the surface brightness of the far-off galaxies only decreases in proportion to redshift. Of course, the cosmic microwave background shows that tired light is incorrect. There wouldn't be any lingering heat from a primeval explosion in a static tired light cosmos. Not to add, distant supernovae wouldn't be time dilated by cosmic expansion, which they are, and distant galaxies wouldn't appear fuzzy, both of which are true. The Big Bang is the only theory that makes sense of all the data. The validity of Lerner's claim has long been challenged. Despite everything, the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered some peculiar things. Most importantly, it has discovered galaxies that are both further away and more numerous than they should be, which could result in some radical modifications to our standard model. According to our current understanding, the cosmos underwent a time known as the Dark Ages after the Big Bang, the first stars and galaxies hadn't yet formed, and the cosmos's first brilliance had already dimmed. Some of the newest galaxies that originated just after the Dark Ages can be seen by Webb because of its extreme sensitivity. These newborn galaxies should be less abundant and less evolved than later galaxies, as we would anticipate. However, the Webb studies have discovered a surprising number of extremely red-shifted young galaxies that are quite developed. Astronomers had hoped for the kind of perplexing and unexpected facts that this provides. Only a few months after its launch, the Webb had not only captured eye-catching infrared photos, but also thrown significant doubt on several of the Big Bang Theory's basic premises, including the timeframes of specific events. Does this imply that the James Webb Telescope has just thrown the Big Bang Theory for a loop? We can't say for certain. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.